Students, when you get up early in the morning, you brush your teeth, then you wash your face, don't you? You may also take a bath. Your mum cooks food for you. Can you tell me what you need for all these things? We need water to brush our teeth. We need water to take bath too. And we need water to cook food as well. When you play games, you feel thirsty. You drink water when you are thirsty, don't you? Now, you must have understood how important water is to us. So, living things cannot live without water. So, water is very useful to us. We use water for different purposes. Look here. The cow is drinking water. The camel is also drinking water. All animals drink water. Do you know more than two-thirds of our body is made up of water? And we lose water from our body when we sweat. We also lose water when we breathe and urine it. Yes, we lose water when we sweat, breathe and urinate. So, we need to drink a lot of water every day. We should drink about five to six glasses of water every day to stay healthy. If you do not drink water for a few days, you may die. So, it is very necessary to drink water. So, drinking water is good for health. Students, we use water to cook rice, dal, vegetables and other foods. Cooked foods are tasty, aren't they? And we use water to cook food. To eat food, we use different utensils like plate, bowls, spoons and glass. We should clean these utensils before and after eating food. To clean the utensils as well we use water. We use water to clean the floor of a house. We use water for bathing as well. Bathing makes us clean, fresh and healthy. Do you know how to swim? Some of you may have learned swimming, have you? We need water for swimming as well. Students, you all are wearing clothes, aren't you? After wearing clothes, they get dirty. Do you like to wear dirty clothes? No, you don't. 
We wash the dirty clothes and make them clean. We use water to wash our dirty clothes. Clean clothes make us look smart. This is a firefighting vehicle. It is used to put out fire. The firefighting vehicle also uses water to put out the fire. So, water is very useful to us. Do you know what this is? This is a water dam. We produce electricity from this water dam. We use this electricity for many purposes. We get this light from the electricity. We use the electricity to watch television. We use the electricity to charge our cell phones too. Students, we all eat rice, dal and different vegetables. Can you tell me where you get all these foods from? Farmers grow crops and vegetables in their fields. Do the crops live without water? No, they don't. All plants need water to live. So, farmers use water to grow crops in their fields. So, the farmers use water for irrigation. Students, not only animals, but also plants contain a lot of water in their body. They also lose water from their leaves. Plants use water to make their food during photosynthesis. They also use the dissolved minerals like salt in water while preparing food. Plants use water to transport prepared foods to different parts of their body as well. Students, now look at this pond. There are many fishes in the pond. People use the pond for fish farming. So, water can be also used for fish farming. Look at this water park. Kids are playing for fun. So, the water is also used for recreation. This is a boat. People travel and carry things in a boat. People travel and carry things in a ship as well. A boat or a ship move only when there is water. So, water can be used for transportation as well. So, water is very useful to us. All living things need water to live. We use water for drinking, bathing, swimming, cleaning and many other purposes. Farmers use water in their fields to grow crops. We use water for fish farming, recreation and transportation as well. We also use water to produce electricity. But sometimes water can be very harmful to us. Look here. The water has damaged the houses and crops. When water overflows from the river, the lake and the ocean, it is called 
flood. The flood can destroy our crops. It can damage our houses and roads too. Floods can kill human beings and other animals. When the flood causes harm to us, it is called a natural disaster. Students, sometimes there might be no water in the streams and ponds. When there is no rain for a long time, there will be no water in the streams and the ponds. Then the land gets cracked and plants dry up and die. This is called a drought. So, too much of water and too less of water are both harmful to us.